Greetings, fellow investigators, and welcome to our video podcast, Into the Darkness, where my friends and I play the Call of Cthulhu role-playing game. I'm your host, Tom Rayleigh, and it's time for an update, time for some news. As we approach the end of 2020, we are slowly making plans for the next year. Morgan Llewellyn has informed me that our Monday night campaign, Masks of Nyarlathotep, is more than halfway through, and I must say that we've gone through more characters than any other game in ITD history. My original character is the only one left, and I know his sanity is dwindling fast. Once Masks is done, I'll be running another old-time favorite, Mr. Corbett. I think Mr. Corbett was the first thing I ever ran for my channel, and I really liked the story. I look forward to running it again. Tuesday nights, our good friend John Hook is running Spawn of Azathoth. We've just completed the first scenario, and we're eager to see where it all leads. We expect it to run well into 2021. John was thinking also that there may be some breaks in between scenarios where we can run other scenarios. So we're looking forward to the surprise games and the one shots throughout. Then once that campaign finishes, some of my best players have convinced me to run the greatest campaign of all time, Horror on the Orient Express. 19 scenarios. It took us over three years to do the first time around. This time it'll be played by six of our best role players, Stuart Lipley, Morgan Llewellyn, John Hook, Josh Harwood, David Gassaway, and Keith Craig. We're going to do it all in costumes with backgrounds. It should end up being our magnum opus. Moving on to Wednesdays, I'm currently running a wonderful Delta Green scenario, Music from a Darkened Room, which uh, many of you have either heard of or played yourselves. I get giggles every time I think of those poor naive agents and what they're walking into. Once that one finishes, we will begin another grindhouse style game GM'd by Josh Harwood called Blood for Drugs. Uh, We're thinking of something along the lines of uh, Norwegian death metal or, or something crazy like that. After that, we're not sure. Uh, I have a few GMs who want to run some things. Uh, and we haven't scheduled it yet, so we'll see. Fridays, I'm guessing that by January, we will be finished with Two-Headed Serpent, assuming there are no delays, any any more delays than there have been. We've been lamenting that it's not lasted long enough. We we really liked the game. Uh, It's been an astonishing good uh, Pulp Cthulhu campaign, and Matthew Sanderson is a master game master. Uh, He also introduced us to Cult Divinity Lost with a scenario he himself wrote. We hope to play a few more of those next year. So early in January, our very own Zane Fleming will begin another pulp campaign entitled A Cold Fire Within. I haven't got a clue what that one's about, but I'm very excited to see what our most theatrical GM has in store for us. Aside from games, we have established a Discord server, which is doing very well. People are making connections and setting up games within and without of ITD, and uh, they're having lots of fun. Our patronage is up a little from before. Every little bit helps. We've risen slowly to 2,933 subscribers. Once we reach 3,000, we'll have some sort of giveaway to celebrate. We recently passed our 800th episode. Fantastic. It's been an amazing and wonderful five years. Our circle of friends and excellent players is growing and our gaming skills are improving. We're finding ways to introduce new players to Call of Cthulhu and similar dark role-playing games. We're helping improve the overall gaming community around us. Our own experience has shown us that ours is one of the nicest, friendliest groups around and we're happy to keep bringing it year after year. Thanks to all of our GMs, to our fabulous players and our patrons, and to you, the viewers, for making this all possible. Have a great and wonderful Cthulhu New Year.